What's good to my champs all around the world? It's your boy Champ Jones. Hoping everybody's staying positive, staying motivated, staying real. Yeah. Now, I just wanted to make a quick video, basically, giving my insight on the power of journaling. I feel like everybody should have at least three spiral notebooks in their car or on their person at all given times. Not only can you use these journals to jot down goals, you can use these journals to budget your bills, but essentially you can use it to keep you aligned with yourself and have creative expression, therapy sessions, etc. But I've kind of understand within myself what journaling is. It's a cleansing um, practice, and the more that I journal, the more that I overstand parts that I played or how they say, the nickel and dime that you brought to the quarter, I started overstanding a lot of the actions and choices that I made that either helped or was a detriment to any situation that I was involved in. And I feel the reason why journaling is so um, second world is because once you start writing and you get into that, uh, that, that, that being in tune with your thoughts, your feelings, and just letting it flow out, and you lose your conscious um, intention, but you just really releasing. Once you hit that mode and let it flow, don't think of the concept of time. Don't think of holding back, like really letting it flow out to the point where your hands start cramping. Now you on the next page, you're going past the margins, everything. Once you get to that point, you are literally releasing whatever it is you have built up. Once you complete whatever it is you're writing and you go back and read it, you will find so much clarity and understanding of not only the circumstance you was dealing with and the solutions that have come with you reflecting on that, but you'll find so much more about yourself. You'll see how much of the weight you were carrying. You'll see how much of the pain you was holding on to once you write it out. Then once you write it out and you go back and read it, you're like, okay, damn, this did feel this way. Now I know exactly why. Oh, this makes sense. You really start revealing to yourself things you wouldn't have seen in, in real time. I, I highly recommend journaling. I feel like you could journal your goals. You could, you could make a rubric. You could make a, a chart of things that keep you in place, things that keep you sane, things that keep you happy, things you can track, things you can see results with. Not only that, like I said, it's very therapeutic. Sometimes we may not have a quick ac access to an individual or a service that can help us fight certain things we're dealing with. Sometimes you may just need yourself because no one knows the words you need to hear really like yourself. Nobody knows the energy you need to feel, the... um value you need to feel unless it's really within yourself and i feel journaling is something we all should practice even if it's 30 minutes a day 15 minutes a day 10 minutes a day two minutes a day and i don't mean journaling in the sense of facebook post or writing a status or i'm talking about literally pen and paper if you can zone out somewhere and just let it flow usually when i when i start off mines i put Hello, great self, and then I just get busy. And then it just starts to flow out how I've been feeling, what I'm dealing with, how I want to feel, the steps I feel that's necessary, what feel good, what don't feel good, my shortcoming, my triumph, momentum. Like, And once you get an overstanding of that, your, your clock slow down. You become a bit more patient and tolerant with yourself. And once you become patient and tolerant with yourself, it's easy to use that same skill set with others. Now, I wouldn't say journaling is the end result to all to anything you're dealing with, but I definitely overstand and know for a fact it's a stepping stone. So if you don't have one right now, go get you a few spiral notebooks, notepads, paper. It's, it's cute to have the iPhone notepad, and all, but no, this is a real engagement that you're having with yourself with your higher self, your lower self, your crying self, your pain self, your happy self, your, your motivated self. This is the biggest and most committed relationship you're ever going to have. So I suggest you put your best foot forward and give it your all because there's no turning back once you start this. 
once you start this process, there's no turning back and that marriage is forever. So please overstand the concept of journaling, get in tune with it and enjoy the journey. Until next time, you already know, man, stay positive, stay motivated, stay real. One.